everyone. Today we're talking about Jesus' baptism. About that time, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee, and John baptized him in the Jordan River. While he was coming up out of the water, Jesus saw the heavens splitting open, and the Spirit descended on him like a dove. And there was a voice from heaven saying, You are my Son, whom I dearly love. With you I am well pleased. And at once the Spirit forced Jesus out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among the wild animals, and angels took care of him. Now, your first reaction to this reading, these stories, might be, hey, isn't there supposed to be more to this? So we're getting a good example here of, of Mark's style, you know, compared to Matthew and Luke. So we don't get any discussion between John and Jesus about why he's getting baptized. We don't get the, the three temptations and the, the conversation between Jesus and the devil. Mark just kind of gives you the details, but there's still enough here for us to, to hold on to and, and see what's important about these stories. You know, it is a fair question, though, of well, why is Jesus baptized? We, we often focus just on how it's about forgiveness of sins, and Jesus doesn't need that. But baptism is such a a powerful metaphor and symbol that has so many meanings that all come together. And so I think here we can see why baptism matters for us because of how it connects us to Jesus. That Jesus, because he was baptized, we can meet him in that water. And there's also the significance of, of what Jesus hears through his baptism. It's at this moment that Jesus is identified and hears that he truly is the Son of God, that he is beloved by God, and that God is pleased with him. And I think that's really interesting that it happens right here at the beginning, because Jesus hasn't done anything yet, right? This is where he first shows up in the gospel, and God says, I am pleased with you. God says, I love you. I love you, and I like you. I think that's the message that we need to hear, right? That's what baptism does for us. That's the moment that we should know that we are loved by God. It's not something that we earn. It's not because we did anything. God's love for us is our foundation, just like it was for Jesus. It's, it's not something that we can earn. There's not something any we can, anything we can do to make God be pleased with us. God is. And then we live out of that. And so as we see here in Mark, Knowing that is what gives us the strength to be who God calls us to be, to resist temptation, to resist those voices that say, does God really love you? Do you have to do something? Don't you need to do something else to take care of yourself? When we know, as Jesus did, that God loves us fully just for who we are, we can be who God calls us to be. We can endure any wilderness that comes our way. So I hope you know that today. You are God's beloved son or God's beloved daughter. God is pleased with you. Know that and live from that today.